My name is Troy Innocent. I make art which is really exploring language and code. My public art practice focuses on what you call playable cities. Situating play in urban environments and connects elements that are already situated in the city, such as street art, with, with digital layers such as augmented reality. The Melbourne Art Tram project was a great opportunity for playful takeover. What I really wanted to do was to appropriate a, a C2 class Melbourne tram and turn it into a 35 and a half metre long musical score. It is quite abstract to me, you know, testing everything in theory. To see the actual tram, I'm not quite sure how I'll feel. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Musical tram. It works, for one thing. <laughs> Don't have to do any more app fixing. So, musical tram, fully operational. You hold up your phone to capture the tram within the frame of your phone camera, and as it passes, it triggers a bunch of generative music systems, and so it generates a score as it moves through the camera. This is not just kind of functional piece of infrastructure that transports people around the city, but it's also now a moving um, kind of musical score. So that idea of kind of poetic infrastructure and poetic takes on urban code. I love machines. <laughs> it's like having my own giant robot, I guess. As close as I'm gonna to get to that. <laughs>